Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Tifu Oscar, and welcome back to another Street Fighter 6 video. Today, we're going to be covering the latest character that came out uh, over a month ago. Yeah, sorry I haven't made a video in time for it, because I've been super busy, but we're here on Tweet, so we're going to be talking about... You know him, you love him, it's Terry. For those who don't know, Terry is from Fatal Fury, he's been around for like decades now. And with his appearances in Smash Ultimate, fighting EX Slayer, and now here. I think it's safe to assume that Terry is just a universal constant. He's just a pretty funny character, uh, pretty lovable as well. He has good combinations and movesets. It's only right to put him in this universe. He has come a long way. Even in Smash Ultimate's announcement trailer back then, I remember a lot of people questioning who he is or why he deserves a spot in Smash. But now, people do recognize him now. Uh, I know he's not like the greatest character in Smash, some people think he comes across as annoying, but only in a fun way. But now it's a bit different in Street Fighter because he's more serious. Uh, he has um, good movesets. Uh, like the... He's more like up close, he doesn't really have much projectiles. Only for like if he slams down on the ground, he creates a fireball. That's good to block any movesets coming towards him, which is really decent. Other than that, like, you have to be right up close to fight people, so if you are going to main him, you have to be more aggro. What he does, like, you have to be really more relying on combos. We'll go to Blanco. It's really weird to see him in this universe fighting these guys, but it's a welcoming surprise, to be honest. <laughs> There's a good spinning kick. Even when you have the super move, it does a lot of damage. Just like that, just right there. <laughs> it really helps you get away from certain moments. Yeah, from distance. Yeah, Terry screwed. Yeah, I didn't um, unlock any of the other characters as you saw in the beginning because it was like never really cared about it. Like, if it was like uh, you get points just to unlock them, then fine, but I have to spend real money on it. Which for Terry, it was an exception because it was good to like make a video on it because everybody knows him and loves him. So it wasn't that much of money, and I don't like play this a whole lot for me to care about the other characters I need to, I need to unlock. So. It wasn't really worth like making videos about because I don't know who who cares about them. <laughs> but if you want me to, then fair enough. I am happy to. What a finisher! That was good there. You get this one. This one doesn't count. You just like hit him as much as you can. So now you get to see all the movesets that happens. So like the down hit is really good for um, blocking projectiles from anyone coming or even the hits. It kind of like cancels it out, which is really good. That, yeah. Just get that done out of the way. Oh god. If you want to talk about bullshit characters, he's definitely one of them. He has like every single move sets ever, like all the projectiles, all the move sets, all the arms. Especially with the CPU, like he can track down every single movement you're doing just so. He knows exactly how to counteract that. Of course he has stretchy arms as well, which is bad if you try to jump and then he'll just hit you from above or below or at a distance he'll just kick you. <laughs> just stretch out his arms. 
And then he has a fire blast as well. He got has one in the middle, but there's also one where he can do it up forward. And if you're playing on the hardest difficulty, then um, good luck. <laughs> he wouldn't even be the final boss. <laughs> he would just like go at you. There's like a lot of times I like, tried to do it with Terry, and then uh, it's really almost impossible with the CPU. It can just track every single movement for you. So I tried to do it on the hardest difficulty for the recording, which I almost come close. And then um, you get Ken at the very end, he'll just corner you and start wailing arms at you. <laughs> at that point I kind of understand it, if it's the hardest difficulty and he's the final boss. But for yeah, any other moment, there's no reason for him to go ape shit on you. Especially when he grabs you, <laughs> there's no reason for it to take that much damage. <laughs> and he cancel that. Ruins everything. Come on, bro. He won't give up, he won't give up blocking. He just loves to grab you. <laughs> no, you're not gonna do that. I always have to jump around because you never know what he's going to do. That was a struggle. <laughs> I don't know in the Street Fighter community if they loved him or not. Either they love playing as him or hates people playing as him, I don't know. <laughs> he just has like ridiculous movesets like all these moves, all the projectiles, teleporting, stretching arms, like, you, it's gonna be hard to block him. It's hard to, like, come close to him without him just destroying you. All of that. No! <laughs> Stuff like that, you have to go full aggro on him. If you want me, if you want me to try the hardest mode ever, maybe not Terry, maybe someone else better. <laughs> I'm more than happy to try that. Okay, it's not downright ridiculously hard, but as long as you have a good player and you know a few good combos, help yourself, then perfect. But the Ken fights, I'm not even that mad about, because come on, I can't hate on Ken. I'm sure some people like think Ken is just a bit of hope he the Street Fighter. But he's iconic, come on. I used him a few times in my other videos. And, like, I got I can understand because his combos are pretty good. If I jump up he's just gonna do an uppercut on me, so that's not gonna work every time. Nope. Oh, okay. Almost amazing to see Terry and Ken fight each other. <laughs> Rightfully needed. Save myself there. You're good. I'll give you that. Round two. Fight. Overall, I would say um, Terry is a good um, good character, he has uh, decent movesets. I wouldn't say they come across as annoying or OP. He's like, pretty well balanced. He does have a few moments that sounds like it is like a bit too much. It can be annoying to certain characters fighting against him, but I wouldn't say he's downright broken. It's not like an Eddie Gordo situation in Tekken, he's more well balanced it actually does feel like he's in the in the universe i wouldn't say he's a guest character he feels like family <laughs> it's only just right and gets him justice so and that's about it that's all i have to show for terry 
Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. Uh, if you got any more suggestions for me to do, I'm more than happy to do them. Uh, you're all family to me, just like Terry and Street Fighter, so all, all these concept arts are unlocked. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.